everyone, it's Morphin Mania time. It is, uh, DJ, what is this, day 35? <laughs> DJ's checking his notes. Pretty sure it's day 35. <laughs> Sounds uh, good. Well, welcome back to Morphin Mania. It's time for more uh, season two of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I'm Captain Logan. Uh, to my right is Jason. Yes. To my left is our special guest for this evening. It's the Jeff. Welcome, the Jeff. Jeff has seen exactly Hello, zero of this show, or maybe like... Oh, really? I was going to ask. Less. Le less than zero? <laughs> So this is going to be the first of these, and this is a thing that I've been wanting to happen, DJ, where we would bring... And there's DJ. There's my regular co-host, DJ. I'm always here. Nothing special. <laughs> DJ, you don't even introduce me. I'm I'm obligatory. And I... Uh, the obligatory I, DJ. I've been wanting to... <laughs> yeah, the you know... Incredible Hulk. It's like at a, at a wedding reception or a bar mitzvah, you know, it's the obligatory DJ. You gotta have that. <laughs> Uh, so I've been wanting to get in some some uh, some co-hosts and some uh, alumnus from Geek Evolution for our tenth anniversary in on this show, regardless of whether or not they know anything about Power Rangers, because uh, it's fun to get people's reactions in camera. And I'm not a big like reaction guy, but it's really fun with Power Rangers, and we'll get some amusing banter going, I am sure. Uh, our special guest uh, uh, last week was, uh, I say I say last week for the live recording. Uh, this is posting daily, so it's confusing. We're talking to three different audiences right now, Jeff. We have the live folks watching right now. Thanks oh, so much for being here, folks. We have uh, the people watching uh, early on Patreon, and then we have the people next year watching this uh, day to day, assuming there are any of those. Uh, but anyway, so uh, we had Mr. Fusion last week who knows a lot about Power Rangers, and now we have Jeff, the Jeff, who knows nothing about Power Rangers. You're, you're going to get an education uh, this evening. Yeah, but not for long. If you are watching live... I didn't see nothing. And I already see uh, quite a few folks in the comments. Thanks so much for being here, everybody. Uh, if you're watching live, make sure and go to the rabbit room in the description. That will allow you to watch exactly what we're watching it as we're watching it. Uh, so you can see our feed without having to sync up with us. If you're watching after the fact, of course, you're going to need to get out your Netflix, your DVDs, however you want to watch this. Get it to episode 10 of season two, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. It's Welcome to Venus Island. Is everybody ready for more Lord Zed goodness, you got here for Zed. You got here for my, oh, wow. for my favorite. We got, we got, uh, we're, we're hip deep into Lord Zed already. Is and, he, um, are we close to White Ranger? Is is he is he the fire? What's your desire? What's right? your, yeah? Uh, sorry, sorry, what was that, Jason? Are we close to uh, White Ranger? Um, we are a few episodes away from White Rangers, so we're gonna have uh, so again bat shooting. Uh, we're gonna do two episodes uh, here for uh, for day. 35 i'm almost positive and uh that's gonna be uh welcome to venus island and song of guitardo yeah song of guitardo and then uh that sounds then, mildly offensive and then our <laughs> and then, you can't call people that anymore <laughs> and, then our, and then uh our next uh, show we're gonna handle Green No More, which is a two-parter, and uh, Jason that'll get rid of the Green Ranger powers, and then I uh, set us up for White Ranger in just a few episodes after that. So uh, stick around, folks, watching live if you want to see all of that and more. And let's go ahead and jump right into it, everybody. Everybody into the pool. Here we go, everybody. Please press play right <laughs> now. Ooh, explosions! <laughs> yep, there's a lot of that. And sometimes things explode, and then they just unceremoniously come back. Uh, that happens, happens a lot. all the time. People just explode. <laughs> uh, Anime2018 says hi to all of us, including the Jeff. Hi. Oh. Nice of them to put the lyrics up there. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, no, we we always do commentaries with the uh, subtitles. Oh, so that you know, you can see what people are saying. <laughs> um, it's too bad they didn't subtitle that guitar riff at the beginning, though. I'd like to see how they spell it. Yeah, they can just put the sheet music. On tread, the tread, tread. <laughs> uh, I'm you looking. Metal. I'm looking forward to some insightful. Uh, commentary about the music in this show from Jeff. Jeff is a uh, Jeff is a, a, a musician. He's a pianist and a uh, organist and a classical composer. And Guitarist. Jeff uh, has written some music for the channel. Uh, Jeff did all the music for the uh, uh, documentary we made a few years ago, Midwestern Panels. Uh, he did the music. Oh, is this our? F this is not our first Jedlin script, is it? 
I don't know. DJ, I think I we've know. maybe I already had some Jed Lynn. Jed Lynn is still writing Power Rangers today. He's 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 still around working on the current duration. They're not letting him do what he wants to, which is why it sucks, but he's still there. This, this is not our first beach episode, though. No, we've done quite a bit of beach stuff. But anyway, uh, but Jeff also wrote uh, music for uh, Batman whole, here, oh, no, that was which is which, which I have had to postpone, but uh, hoping to bring that back in some form. The monkey. There's there's Richie. Oh yeah, Jeff's also worked yeah. with the monkey. Yeah, that's right. That's how I got my definite article. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. The Jeff, right? There's Bulk. There's Skull. Those must be bad guys. Well, they're the the bullies of the season. So Perry just kind of split as uh, a sitcom and an action show, and they're kind of the sitcom bully uh, bullies wow. villains. Uh, but right now they're on a mission to find out who the Power Rangers really are, and they're pretending to be putties right now, hoping that that <laughs> will draw out the Power Rangers, which is hilarious. Now this Why DJ are they wearing pie tins because they're <laughs> pretending to be Lord Zed putties, and Lord Zed putties have a big Z on them, so that when you punch it, they explode because they have to have a weakness right on them. There's Zed. Oh no, is he gonna make them putties? I don't think he makes them putties. He needs to go back to Skull. Oh, come on, Zed. You're more badass also, than that. Don't hurt her. Come on. You're Lord Zed, dude. You can't teach anyone a lesson without hurting them. Yeah. What kind of villain what is What good that? is science with, if no one gets hurt? And this and is. Zed. Why is he and spinning is around? Our parents decided he All was too scary. Must have spinny chairs. That's... But he's just looking at a fan. Yeah. Tell me this is not one of the greatest villain designs of all time, man. Like, seriously. He's amazing. Oh, no. Well, Vulcan Skull, you're not going to lure them disappear. out when there's actual putties around. Hey, I got the champagne. <laughs> <laughs> Coldar dropped his champagne. Dang. What a loser. Oh, that was an animated Zed face. Fire is Greek. Oh wow! Z. That's real ominous. Thanks, thanks, Tommy. I thought that was that's Hebrew. brilliant. That does look kind of Hebrew, yeah. Or like Vulcan. It does look Vulcan. That's true. That's a little castaway, isn't it? Bum 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 bum. Did you hurt her? Yeah, sorry, we did. We just did. I lost it in the battle. Uh, battle. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's pretty great. Take his wings now, right, DJ? Like this is when you take his wing. Oh, no, wow. it wasn't. You lost to a nine-year-old girl. No more wing. No more wings. Go I've to... got you under oh, my wings. skinless. <laughs> Did they misplace her on the on the teleportation back here? Like, what happened to her? So yeah, how hard is that? You're tell yeah. Oh, wow. Yes, anime Zed is a main villain, and he will be the main villain this entire season and all of three plus Rita when we bring her back. So they have powered robotic armor and teleportation, but to scan those letters, he had to trace them with a pen. <laughs> That's a really good point. <laughs> Ooh, that also sounds ominous. It's like the plot of Tannhäuser. With Zed without the extra Z. Yeah, but now Zed no, no, no. Zed only has one Z. It's two Ds, but one Z. I mean, I mean, without oh, the extra then, D. But then we had both of them anyway. We don't need to comment on the <laughs> subtitles. <laughs> oh, like yeah, you never comment on the subtitles. <laughs> You know, no, I know I do, but you know, we don't have to do it constantly. Um, so this is a cool thing Zed can do. I mean, Zed can do whatever the script wants him to, but it's kind of neat that he's got an island that he can just call forth whenever he wants to. Yeah, but trapping a, a, a little girl on an island for the rest of her life, doesn't that count as hurting her a little bit? Yeah, I'd say so. He just meant the first place. In a tube just, of liquid. Yeah, well, we're not entirely sure how that even happened. Like oh, we're in the, the garage lab. Sorry, what, DJ? We're in the garage lab. We don't we don't uh, establish this place anymore. We just are here. No, 
But later on, as I've said before, at one point we will establish it wrong. We will show the outside of the school and pretend like <laughs> that's where we are. This is this is Billy's laboratory in his garage, right? Yes. I want to draw a face with a sharpie on that weather balloon. So, DJ, don't you think that Zordon, as soon as Zed showed up, should have given them a big list of things that could happen? Where he's like, okay, he's got this island that sometimes pops up, but sometimes... And he's got a giant Zord called Serpentera, and here's all the people he knows that he might bring in at some point to fight you. But he doesn't do that. <laughs> yeah. Is it ever established how much Zordon knows about Zed? I want to say he knows everything and <laughs> nothing. He's a head in a tube. What else does he have to do? Yeah, but, but he doesn't know everything. Man. No, that's true. But he, but like sometimes it looks like he has premonitions. He knows the names of monsters before he possibly could know that. That's a whole thing with Zorda. And he's a practicing psychiatrist. Right. I want to think that that's no, that's, Captain Sanity. that's Captain Sanity. Yeah, yeah. The Rangers just, are so uh, resourceful. They just he, save the day with a scrunchie. You're just a head in a water cooler. We're not here to talk about your problem. My problem, Stick. We're here to talk about yours. Um, that sky's cool. Mm, that's pretty cool. Nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is this is a strange episode. It's it's really weird. And why would you name it a sounds... girl Hallie? See, this kind of plot is fine if Zed has a real specific a goal. Hallie Berry? If Zed has a really specific goal that's different from his normal goal, but even if it's related, that's fine. But if it's still just, I want to kill the Power Rangers and either take over and, or or destroy the world, you don't need to do all this. Just send oh. lots of monsters. Just well, lots he, of them. He has, he has to teach this girl a lesson, though. A acting. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Cinemagraphic. Good to see you, man. Cinemagraphic says Zordon got a copy of the script from the same person who gave it to Jarrell. And that's why I say that uh, we we got we got to ask questions to Zordon from when we get to heaven. We what do that on this show, too. Robot friend. That's Alpha. Oh. He's incompetent except for when he's not. Like most robot friends. Right. Or Plastic Pal, that's fun to yeah, be with. Yes, anime. Zed is my favorite Power Rangers character. I am an acolyte of Zed. Uh, I, I, I worship at the altar of Lord Zed. He is the best. And uh, those things look like uh, opened up watermelons. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was just going to say. But, but it's half cactus, half watermelon. Isn't this the same beach they were just on? I'm pretty sure it is. And it's half probably... Cactus. It's half probably also... The same beach as every episode. It's probably also right outside of Vasquez Rock like everything. These plants are weird. Yeah, they're I watermelons. Feel the same way. Mm. So, Jeff, I feel like I could get you into the show considering that you like things like the cave of Caligari or what? Or what, what is that? No, no, not Caligari. I'm, I'm mixing things up. What? What is that? That cadaver? <laughs> no, what is, it what is that? The abracadabra. Cadaver. That's what it is. Yeah, that thing. Yeah. That was a hoot. You like that? This is not that far off from that. It really isn't. <laughs> Maybe they need some atmospheria. Anime says this means Cap like Zed more than the actual Power Rangers. I have that with a lot of things. Like I like Galactus more than the Fantastic Four. Okay. I like Lex Luthor as much or more as I do Superman much of the time. So some of them with that transformation thing, their head is separated from their bodies. Mm -hmm. Hey Dad, you like you like Bowser more than oh, you like. Oh, I remember Mario. this Venus flytrap monster. This it's pretty cool looking. Um, yeah, Jeff. Oh, that's... he's invenusable. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Jeff, that's the, the, the floating head thing. That's so that they don't have to keep changing outfits. So uh, that, like, it doesn't look silly when they're wearing some other outfit than the one they had. Later on, they just won't care about that anymore. Uh, oh, no. They, the they won't do the floating head three. thing. Yes. And yeah. they just will be wearing an outfit that's not the one they were just having on. So that is actually more realistic than what we'll do later. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's horrifying. Yeah, that's... Oh. There's a boss in House of the Dead 2 that does exactly this. And I wonder if that's also going to be his weakness. Oh, except you wouldn't want to shoot in it if there's people in there. You know, if it, if it was a video game, that would totally be what you do. As soon as he opens, you have to, like, punch him in the chest. That's what, that's what you do in the House of the Dead, yeah. 
Yeah. I'm surprised this guy doesn't have a staff like that guy because we give a lot of monsters staffs. These watermelon Venus flytraps are hilarious. Your powers are too limited. They probably taste delicious. The fact that they move is actually kind of ambitious for the show. Yeah, but isn't that sad? Like, it feels <laughs> ambitious for us, but we wouldn't bat an eye at it in Sentai footage. Well, it might have been Sentai footage. I think it was. That, he had it better. He had the, the thing. Well, maybe we were trying to recreate a thing they did in the Sentai footage, because I think our people were also walking amongst them. Yeah, out of costume? Before, well, they looked a little worse before. They weren't moving when, when the actors were walking through. Oh, okay. So we were not ambitious about it when well, we shot it. We can do our lip syncing powers. <laughs> They're not lip syncing. This is our footage. Our audio sync is off, but but there, that's rabbit's fault. Just like watching the rest of the movies. Tommy is just screwing up everything. Yeah, he does that a lot until he's wearing white. Well, he can't see, he can't hear, he can't speak. Is that the point of the White Ranger where it's like a redemptive thing? Where like he's just an idiot, then he's got to go white so he's not stupid anymore. And then he's the center of everything and solves every problem all by his lonesome. I believe they call it the crusher effect. Mm -hmm. That's true. He <laughs> says, I noticed you put Zed on your top ten favorite villains list. It was favorites, not best, okay? <laughs> There is a difference. There is there is a difference, yeah. What's this? Beep. Yeah, they have a back computer. Mm -hmm. And uh, it puts out little tickets. It tells them things. Because having a screen is so 20th century. Well, see, they just have a viewing globe, and it's hard to read on that thing because it's, like, you know, globey. You know, it's round. It's hard to read yeah. on a round thing. Yeah, it distorts everything. Mm -hmm. Like the world. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand why Zed can't just put up a, a screen. Or, I'm sorry, Zordon. on. I guess we're not just put a screen up. Observe the screen. Okay, so your voice compared to your uh, to what is to, Jason to doing? Sucks. Like it's a really cool looking menacing monster, and then it's got this really That's not menacing voice. Whoa. Okay, that was totally not. An American thing. They were just like sitting in there meditating. Did you see that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is obviously sensei footage. Yeah. Yeah. What else do you do when you're trapped inside a plant <laughs> with a really stupid voice? And so with these, with so DJ, am I right about this? With our with our costumes, this all still has to be Zoo Two footage, right? Yeah. Yeah. That Green Ranger shield looks so much better. It's ridiculous. Thomas, I don't think Zordon has spare time. Heartburn. Like, unless you're just watching TV on the viewing globe, you think after a few hours of that, you'd be like, nah, Alpha, just go out and get us like a plasma, dude. Like, if you're having trouble with acid reflux, stop eating people. <laughs> <laughs> this message was brought to you by. How come DJ, said she was going to fight alone, but then Tommy just came back with her and fought anyway? Yeah, but like it's all about teamwork, so she can't, you know, it would feel like a character Ooh. aggression if she was like, no, nah, it's my turn, dude. Power acts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But so one time it's called the Cosmic Cannon, and we <laughs> wish they had kept the Cosmic Cannon. When we first pulled it out, it looked kind of like a weird guitar. Which could also be called an axe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look, that's a guitar. Full circle. It also has a triple function, it can be They're used as body spray. Japanese. I'm dying. Yep. Blasted Rangers. See, here's another one that needs to try the healing purple pill. Oh, Why is he says turning red? I thought you made that up. He says Invenusable. That's yeah, oh, yeah, they've been saying it. Like, so today. good. Yeah, that's, that's, that's his monster name. DJ, that's, that's in the top ten, right? Of clever <laughs> monster names. That's a good one. Nobody can Venus that guy. Can't be done. Apparently, Lex is Latin. Never having known love. <laughs> oh, I thought oh. he was going to make the island grow, oh. DJ. <laughs> make my island grow! <laughs> so, 
in my head canon, he is going to be in charge of the uh, island in Lost. That's why you can never find it. Oh, that's amazing. Well, yeah, and the smoke monster sounds like a thing Zed would do. Oh, yeah. man, I want to write a whole paper about that. I want my head cannon to be cosmic. Cosmic head cannon? Wow. You're running around. <laughs> Because <laughs> that's what you do when the island you're on is sinking. That's right, and then you gotta shake the camera. Get into a cave. Yeah. That'll protect you. I mean, how far? <laughs> yeah, that's like going under an overpass when there's a tornado. What a dumb idea. It's gonna sink into the ocean. Oh, I see. They have to rescue. What's her name? Oh, man. I, Halle Berry. Yeah. Uh, DJ, I want to do a Lost Power Rangers crossover so bad. It would explain a lot. Like, the lack <laughs> of internal logic in Power Rangers would fix a lot of the internal logic problems in Lost. Yeah. Oh, it's genius. I love that idea so much. Make my smoke monster grow! <laughs> or make him turn into a 60-year-old bald man. Um, well, now if, you can kill the serpent and Voldemort will be mortal. <laughs> if that's true, Jeff, if Tommy does learn something about impatience, he'll never have to learn the, the, that problem remotely again. Now, I know it's good to like learn a lesson and then not keep making the same mistakes, but I mean, he'll... You know, I say this a lot, but yeah. like when a character show. learns something in this show, they, they they go from being terrible at it to the best there's ever been. <laughs> Every time. Well, you have to make a big enough deal yeah, out I of think that because those writers yeah, otherwise. Wait, his sorry, keep... I was just checking because you're having a problem there. Sorry, what was that, DJ? His plan was to have that girl join his evil minions. Why not just turn her evil? You have that. Power. That's what we he did want another minion. You should have picked the Yellow Ranger. Yeah, why would you pick a little... I don't understand that. But you just zap people and turn them evil. That's what villains do in the show. They're all the same amount of muscular. He looks like a younger version of The Rock. Why is there a police sketch artist a French guy? Because French people are painters, you see. And see, all chefs. the good painters are French people. Because we, we got to go with the with the stereotypes every time. <laughs> That's what we do. Of course, his name's Pierre. So. All French people are named Pierre. Do we really have <laughs> enough ideas of different ways to have Bulk and Skull try to figure out who the Power Rangers are that we have to do two in the same episode? Well, we're going to start with trying to be putties, and when that doesn't work, we're going to get a sketch artist. Yeah, that, they didn't get the full potential out of the putty thing. That's French. They so never look at anything too. before they reveal stuff. Those guys are like the sweat hogs. <laughs> the The answer to uh, what is the smoke monster in Lost Cinemagraphic is they wow. weren't sure Somebody's either. Been to the Renaissance Fair. And then when we finally find out what it is, it's interesting. <laughs> that's a good word for it. Mm -hmm. And then the cinematographic says that that's uh, that's Fallen Kingdom level of, of ridiculousness. He meant to say Jurassic House, of course, but he did <laughs> well, not they never knew what the smoke monster was because first season it's making like all right, noises. draw partner. Oh yeah, and it sounds like it's got hydraulics in it, and yeah. So there you go, Jeff. That was your <laughs> first episode of Power Rangers. That was a weird one to come in on. Yeah, that was. Uh... I feel like I've just had a lobotomy. <laughs> All those troubling thoughts are melting away. Uh, that feels like if Lord Zed was the villain for first season, right, DJ? Yeah. Like that was a real first season kind of episode. Never. And I'm pretty that, sure because we have Song of Guitardo next, which I'm sure that'll be way better. Get it? Get it? Get it? Oh get yeah, it. I remember oh, this one. Oh Jeff, this is <laughs> gonna be a good one for you. And it's Jungle Ball <laughs> because it's about the guitar. <laughs> Oh, and this is a Kimberly episode. That's not going to work. No, no, you can't keep going on with that. But uh, it was a valiant effort, though, getting started there. It's all about effort, really. So, uh, so Jeff, what's your, besides you need a lobotomy, what's your first impression of sitting through one of these? This made me feel... <laughs> I am just amazed at all of the amazing... Uh, plastic toys they managed to advertise. Yeah, well, that's why I mean it's a toy commercial. Yeah, they're doing their job there. Yep. Except a lot of that is stock footage, and you may not realize how much of what you're looking at is stock footage because you've not watched this much. But well, well, there's I'll no see it all again. You will, and then you'll know. So, like, there's only actually like what three minutes 
every episode that is just unique to that episode? No, 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 no. There's more than that. Um, now, a, a good third of it is not shot by us. <laughs> All right, folks, we're going to move on now to Song of Guitardo. It's episode 11 of season two. And if you're watching After the Fact, once again, make sure that you've got it on the right episode on your Netflix or your DVDs and get ready to press play when I say now. If you are watching live and if can you I just say, got... What's that now? Can I say now? You can say now, yeah. If, if you Not yet, though. Wait until I, I get there. Okay? No. If you say it right now, yeah, nobody press play yet. Okay, he, he's a mulligan. Um, <laughs> this is this guy. Anyway. Spike mulligan, in fact. Um, but, if, uh, no, Spike but if you just joined us live, welcome, and make sure... Uh, click on the rabbit room in the description so that you can see exactly what we're looking at as we're looking at it. Are you ready? Is everybody ready? Here we go. Ready. Everybody, please press play. Right? No! Well, DJ, this uh, intro is already old enough now. We've already sat through this enough times that I don't have new things to say about the intro. 11 times is, is the max. 10 times is the max. That's now the max, out. yeah. But at least, like I said, anything about the actual intro last time. What are those poses supposed to do? Uh, look cool. <laughs> I mean, that's the they answer don't. to most things. Well, they do them to summon they the really Zords, don't. but they don't. I don't think they need to. No, they they don't. They don't <laughs> need to. Mm -mm. Yeah, there's a fine line when you're a Power Ranger between martial arts and dance. Oh, martial arts and yeah. dance. Are one in a way that I'm afraid Saban will never fully grasp. Well, yeah, you, I mean, it's sort of, I saw a Jack Kirby book a long time ago and I don't remember it very well. Ooh, here's a guitar. new skill she has. Yeah, this, this episode is all about guitar, Jeff. Yeah, but 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 again, Jeff, keep in mind so they that become guitar heroes. Yeah, right. But, but but keep in mind that all the posing is is Japanese footage. We didn't do any of them. I mean, well, like we start doing it because that's what we're working with. But like we I'm didn't very make much that mistaken. up. You didn't do any of this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, our yeah, everyone knows what I'm talking about. I just wanted that to keep playing when we got to Zed. Where's <laughs> that? I just want to see Zed rock out of that. He's like, "Hey, this is decent music. I know Guitar Monster." Does he make an acoustic guitar monster? Or is it an electric guitar monster? Okay, so this is DJ. This is that place Cicadas. where we claim that we have to have organic stuff to make monsters from, even though we already know that Zed can make monsters. Yeah, he well, he did with the fish in the first episode, but that was the last of it. Yeah, but he's already made monsters out of things that aren't organic, and he's also made monsters out of nothing. So I don't know why suddenly there are rules. Well, they really lucked out that one of their ranger actors is actually a musician and could play a guitar since the... That would be really awkward. Hey, we've uh, we've kept this guy around. Yeah. So now now Trini has like a like an ongoing love interest. Is that that guy from the Power Rangers comics that Kimberly likes? No, no, oh. that he's made up for those. Oh. Is he as bad as Angela? You think? Probably not. No, no, I don't think so. Help! I do think we kind of forget about him too, though. Pretty sure oh. he just disappears. Holy macaroni and cheese. <laughs> That's more frightening than the last monster. <laughs> yeah, they should just... Zed should take one look at that and be like, that's my next monster! And just turn that's that into a, a monster. Drag. Yeah, the amount of time that these two actors have to dress in drag is... They do it a lot. <laughs> uh, Cinemagraphic Adam is not in this episode, and I don't think he's in the next one yet either. I don't remember when they, when they finally show up. What is Bulk dressed as? A shrub? Yeah. I think I think so. Yeah. Should have worked hard. He needs more greenery on monster him. Ever. 
Oh, that was Great almost a job, like, but your princess is in another castle. That was almost like a rabbit season, duck season situation. Uh-oh. Oh, he's a monster. Shiro says they do it a lot, and it's never funny. Yeah, it's never funny. Oh, he's supposed to be a mo Oh, he's not a shrubbery thing. He's like a dragon? Bring me a shrubbery! DJ, that's going to be your cosplay when we go to Morphicon. That's The shrub dragon? Yep. The shrub dragon. You know what? You geeks. I won't make you dress in drag, but I will I will make you wear that. Oh, no, you'll, you'll be the princess. Oh, never mind. You don't have to be the dragon. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, we have to go as a team, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, we well, got to coordinate our outfits? Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, man. Oh, look, they have to learn a lesson, Steve. <laughs> Dropping some, some wisdom on them. <laughs> Did they ever find out who the power natures are? I want to, no, we've talked about this. Um, I don't know if you were here, but yes, we, we have talked about this on the show. Uh, DJ, I uh, I want to see like a real serious discussion where Tommy sits them down and is like, you probably never heard this story before, but there was this boy and he cried wolf. I've actually seen drag princesses that look worse than that. That means they're not trying hard enough because they're trying to make it look really bad. They're just not trying hard enough. Yeah. It could be way worse. Have you ever heard any interviews with Axelrod of, or I mean, not Axelrod, but whoever, I guess we wouldn't know, whoever is in the Zed suit, how long that takes to put on? I have not read anything about that. It's probably in that book I've not bought yet. I bet oh, they yeah. talk about some of that stuff. Yeah, I gotta get that. Well, I ordered it, and then there was a problem with my order, and I haven't ordered it yet. Because it looks a lot more like skin tight and form fitting than the rest of the baggy monster suits. But yeah, they did put out a really cool behind-the-scenes book, uh, like the Ninja Turtles one that I reviewed on the Ninja Turtles theme show last year, uh, just this year. And I've got to get that before we get too far away from Mighty Morphin. Uh, but I think it's about everything. I don't think it's just Mighty Morphin. I think it goes all, all the way up. I think. Hey, Jeff, isn't this what hilarious? Is that? Uh, it's the bug. <clears throat> is that the bug that he's going like to use? Yes. Mouse. Yes, he just used it. Yep. Oh No, it does not look like a mouse. He's got to turn it into a big bug monster. Well, that's okay. Because very often we turn monsters, oh, we turn things into monsters. Cicada. Oh, okay. <laughs> See, it's lucky that it looks like what it's supposed to look like. Because we have had arguments about whether or not things that are supposed to look like fish look like fish. There's a lot fish of fish monsters. Friends. I'm surprised that you've not seen a fish monster yet, Jeff. <laughs> but only two episodes. There's there's time. Interesting. He he mentions the morphing grid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, it's more often than than people think think. So we're Zed in. can cause disruptions in the morphing grid. So it's not just the Rangers. A disturbance. Yeah. In the grid. We talked about this last time. Somebody bring. Yeah, the morphing grid is used like the force to some degree in places. But anyway, um, somebody mentioned a few episodes ago, DJ, that. There's a place somewhere where they mention that Lord Zed gets his powers from the Morphin Grid. Mm. Which is why we were wondering why Zordon can't do some of the stuff he can do. Why do you know about this monster? Because he looks at the uh, screen globe all the time. Yep. The Morphin Globe all the time. Oh so of That's course a viewing globe. Although the Morphin Globe would be kind of a cool thing to call it. So he's named Guitardo because he steals guitars, not because he oh, is wow. a guitar monster. <laughs> he's a, okay. the worst looking fake guitar I have ever seen. Yeah, that doesn't look like you could play it. That doesn't even look like a Guitar Hero controller. <laughs> Zorda looks different Ooh. recently. Have you noticed that? In what way? Have you ever tried to concentrate on filling your mind with like your own thoughts? Face. What was that, DJ? He has like a different face. He doesn't have like the white blurry one. He has like a bluer, like one with a smush. I don't know. He's just looking different to me. Maybe they just change it for the close-ups. I don't know. They might have had to shoot some more stuff for the season. See, you that's can morph one. one more time for five seconds. Use it wisely. So Jeff, Tommy has like a like a ongoing arc about how oh. his his powers 
are very limited now because they came from evil in the first place and he can't morph that oh. often. And next, and they're, they're setting us up for next episode because he's going to lose them completely. And uh, there is an ongoing continuity to the show. This is it, why it's called it Green plays Elmo. like a really loose soap opera. I did not remember how much time we waste on this. We waste a lot of time on it. <laughs> Especially in, everybody say it with me, The Back 40. Like, why does he mope about it every episode? You know. The back 40, a, he acts like it's a surprise every time that he can't morph. Yeah. It's like, no, this is like an ongoing thing. So that if you That's not how you episode, recap, kids. You know what's going on. Yeah, that's not exactly. That's not how you recap, though. You don't pretend like your character forgot everything. Well, he he As always you forgot. No, Dave. His Cinemagraphic says that's not how the morphing grid works. That's really funny. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> wow. That sounds exactly like a metal song. Submit your minds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's about as good as the rapping pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Except he gets oh, no. more screen time than the rapping pumpkin. Fizzy lifting drink. <laughs> I feel the same way. Thomas Edgehill says, this song really blows my mind. Wow. Blows theirs too, apparently. And once again... It's interesting that Zoo 2 just made this up and was like, you guys do something with this. Because this is not only Sentai footage, but clearly they've edited it so that the uh, guitar, so that the notes coming out of the guitar, they also made. So they were just like, this is what this monster does. You guys do something with that. Yeah, that's what I was saying. They lucked out that one of the actors for the Rangers actually plays guitar and can sing. Yeah. Since that's what Japan just decided to do. Because, Jeff, what they did was they took the Sentai show, which was a, a, a show in Japan, and they took random footage from that. And they didn't have all the footage. So they didn't know what the stories were. They just had the action parts. And they just had to make something around that, right? And then, so they've got 40 episodes of that. But then Power Rangers gets really popular here. And then they asked Japan to make them more footage so that we have more to work with so they just start making up things and they just shoot whatever and that's what you're watching now it's just uh -huh. them shooting whatever and we have to write around that which is not any different than what we were doing before <laughs> but it is different for them which is interesting hey i thought he couldn't do stuff well like the stuff yeah he he, he it's limited <laughs> <laughs> apparently, but we're really ambiguous about it, so he can morph what he wants to. But this might be the last time he's able to morph or, like, real close in the next episode. It's like, we can't... He can't morph much. Because we get Green No More next time. Oh, man. He's a rhyming monster. We do that. the most dangerous kind. Hey, Dad. It, it, it's Zordon's greatest <laughs> fear. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what he said, too. Wait, did he say this is yes. his greatest fear? Oh, that's amazing. We love it when Zordon says it's my greatest fear. This is our worst fear is, has come. Bobby's so long at the fair. He says it a lot. How do you know that's going to work? There? Kill the head vampire and why the other do you, ones will all die. Yeah, why do you know that's going to work? I mean, it always has before, but... Aye, 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 aye. You have to burn. Well, Alpha's not no Italian, way. but that would have been an interesting choice. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, what, DJ? <laughs> oh, ears. Huh? Wait, so what are they trying to do? <laughs> uh, I think you're going to like it. I think they're trying to just destroy the, the that monster like normal so they can... So they, I just love so that the Rangers are just floating there this whole save time. Save their floating friends. Cinder Graphic says they're doing everything short of Turbo. Yeah. He's like a one-man guar. This does feel kind of like a Turbo episode. Hey, at least they're not singing the whole time like Zio. But that episode's no, great. No, 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 no. I love Tommy when <laughs> he's in the time. That one's really funny, though. <laughs> 
No, no, no. I love it when he's like... Concentrate on filling my mind with my own thoughts. I think you're going to go to like a Donut and Nob the Nobile plays. <laughs> I've got to concentrate! Oh, no. Wait, he oh. blew his flute and then it, it saved him. Fell in a cabbage crate. He's like, Red Ranger 5. It's not easy being green. You dig? Yeah, but in... Hey, Jeff, in Zio... Well, spoiler alert. But in Zio, Tom is red, so... Oh. <laughs> See my dog. Or I will crush you with my blurgle crunching. See if I don't. Man. That's where I was going. <laughs> so he has like complete control of gravity. Because now he's making him go down. It's Zordon's worst fear. That is I a have pretty got to learn to play electric guitar. Why do we <laughs> why do we keep giving monsters like this these kinds of insanely powerful abilities, DJ? I'm now like, upset this is like Parathis head all over again. <laughs> well, I'm upset they didn't come up with a pun between gravity and guitar. I don't know what guitar though means. Oh, she's using her bow. Yeah. As it's... a harp. It's a harp bow. I didn't Where's know Chico that you did that. <laughs> did she add strings to her bow? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, but she didn't have that before. Nice touch. I mean, the only one that has a music-making weapon is Tommy, but it only plays one melody. Well, I mean, I'll give him credit for adding dagger thing. Making Do her... your flute music. Was that? Was that earlier? A singing dagger. Yeah, he he blow. It's a flute. He blows into it oh. through his mask somehow. He puts it up to his mask, and then his he goes. Mask has a mouth. Too bad he doesn't have a carry an ocarina of time. Yes, but it doesn't have holes in it. Are you? Yeah, but are we supposed to use our imagination that that mouth arguing logic? With <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. What did you? Are we supposed to use our imagination that that mouth can move? Like, is that what that mouth is supposed to look like? Oh, an actual mouth. Okay, so that's ridiculous. That's what question. was what was the point of putting strings on it wow. and being like, wait, I fight him with music? If you're just get, you could have done that with a normal bow. It didn't need more strings. It didn't need strings. Style counts. <laughs> yeah, you got your guitar back. That's the most important thing. Arr! <laughs> but it was perfect. My I had a favorite. It was, there were no possible holes in that plan, Zed. I don't know how they beat you, dude. I mean, he had a Lord cicada Zed. that had a, that could play a guitar shred. that could grab. <laughs> hey, Zed, your monster can't shred. Oh, Joey Ramon. Man, two episodes in a row with no Megazords. Yeah, that's weird. These are throwaway and not great. Jeff, you should have just waited an hour before you came over, man. I think we're going to have better stuff right after this. That's all right. Warm you up to the madness. And the madness that he's saying. Okay, so at least you said not crying. Oh, a callback. Yeah. Oh, uh, he has his fingers crossed. Right, so that means it's okay for him to say bad or uh, to, to lie. What about Princess Bleach? <laughs> she almost said, that makes it okay for him to break the law. <laughs> I knew where you were going. <laughs> I do it so much, I just couldn't stop myself. It's not even relevant here. He's the dragon sword. <laughs> <laughs> He's the dragon sword. <laughs> and he is a monster that has not existed, but should, because it's horrifying. Whoa, his, where does net go? His hair net. I think Lord Zed stole it to make up for not having skin. Yeah, but we can't break status quo or nothing. We couldn't do that. No, that can only be done in, like, movies. Oh, no, now we have to listen to a song. Oh, no, you guys. Oh, no. You fill up my senses. <laughs> Her hair looks really good in this episode, DJ. Yeah, you're a fan of the up too? Yeah, I like it. I do. 
All the winds of change. Did you hear the winds of change? <laughs> I, I just want to keep so bringing it back to Pixar. Give him a lesson. <laughs> See how many Ooh. Pixar uh, references we can get into this. You think you can sing these things, but you can't. <laughs> <laughs> DJ, we should uh, we should learn this song and play a Power Morph God. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, everyone will know what we're doing. Yep, they'll know precisely because everybody remembers this episode. No, we should perform that. What's the, <laughs> I don't know what to say either, Tommy. What's the song that Tanya well, sings in the video? I don't remember right off. It was I like a music Tommy video. Tommy was in Evita. I know Madonna was in Evita, but I don't know about Tommy. Oh, it's so sad. He's not going to be able to be a ranger anymore, DJ. Again. <laughs> we did this Bye -bye, before the back 20. And now we're doing it again. All right. Well, there we go, folks. That is today's episode of Morphin Mania, such as it was. Thanks a lot for watching. Tomorrow, uh, we're going to have, uh, hopefully, much better episodes. We're going to do the uh, two-part episode, Green No More. That will be all of tomorrow's episode. If you are watching live with us, we are bat shooting, so we're going to be shooting the next episodes in just a few minutes. So come back in about five or six minutes and uh, click on the new link. Uh, which go to the lobby. should come into your uh, into your YouTube feed. And uh, in the meantime, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. We sure appreciate it. Jeff, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it, it gets better. Four Obey. Power Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> um, Would Jeff be here for the next show? Uh, I think I think you're gonna stick around. Yeah. 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 yeah he's gonna stick around. And the show after. Yeah. So anyway, uh, everybody, thanks again for watching. Yeah. We sure appreciate it. We will see you again uh, very shortly. And uh, everybody watching after the fact, we'll see you tomorrow. I'm Captain Logan. And I'm Jason. I and was Jason. <laughs> and I will have been the Jeff. Find another way to conjugate it, DJ. Go. I'm always here. <laughs> uh, thousand and one verb tenses for time travelers. <laughs> thanks again for watching, folks. We sure appreciate it. Bye, folks.